Inside Yemi is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Protect your online privacy today at expressvpn.com slash inside. Hey everybody and welcome back to Inside Gaming Daily for Wednesday. Let's hunt for the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. Oh. Get to it! Ha. Oh. Ha. Oh. Well, it was a little bit of a dry hump, actually, because with the next-gen consoles, they are hard to get a hold of. A little over-the-jeans hump. A middle school hump. No room for Jesus there. No, no, no. Yeah, we got a few news items to talk about today as it relates to next-gen consoles. The first is that Sony's PlayStation 5 has jumped out to an early lead sales-wide in one major market. I think I said sales-wide, not sales-wise. Do you want to <laughs> just say wise and I'll just put your face over your own face? <laughs> yes sales wise. Meanwhile, there are some sales numbers that indicate that the supply shortages are probably worse than we thought. The coronavirus has obviously disrupted almost every aspect of life and production of new consoles was no different. But first, let's talk sales. And these numbers are all for Japan, where we have our first head-to-head -head sales comparison for the next-gen machines. Yeah, according to Famitsu, the PlayStation 5 sold more than 118,000 units in its first four days. That is far, far ahead of the Xbox Series. X and the Series S, which sold a little bit over 20,500 units in their first six days. So console wars over. The best place to play games in Japan is Xbox Game Pass. The best place to be in Japan is playing an Xbox. <laughs> yes, so obviously that is a huge difference in favor of the PS5, but you also have to consider that Xbox has never been as popular in right. Japan as the PlayStation line is by a long shot. And Sony, after all, is based in Japan, so there's probably some hometown pride. I would say. But also, they get a lot of games for PlayStation that aren't don't ever come over here, and I know it's been yeah. Yeah, you, it's not right. You know more than anyone. <laughs> Look, we've all tried to play some imports, you know. Stop and, and then localizing up, and like, games. Yeah. <laughs> Just learn Japanese. Uh, yeah, I'm too old. But if you compare those numbers to the last generations, there's a big drop off. If you look back at the last gen, the PlayStation 4 sold 322,000 in its first two days in Japan, Ooh. and the Xbox sold about 23,500 units in its first four days there. Yeah, so. that's like over twice the PS4s. Yeah, that seriously. Sold. That's a lot uh, of PS4s. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. So the big question, why the lower sales numbers? They're talking about it on the schoolyard. They're talking yep. about it in the boardroom. Mm -hmm. Well, one mm -hmm. analyst says, not surprisingly, it wasn't demand. There just weren't enough PS5s to go around. This comes from our buddy NPD analyst, Matt Piscatella. Local boy, Matt Piscatella. <laughs> Local Italian, Matt Piscatella wrote. <laughs> what did they call journalists? Muckrakers? Local scoopster. NPD analyst, Matt Piscatella wrote that the lower numbers for this generation reflect, quote, Supply, not demand. That I remember those sense. words from my failed business minor. That failed business minor comes up way more than I would think it would. Well, I paid for it. I, I have talk to about use it, it somehow. I failed a business major, so I get it. Whoa. I had to, to switch majors. Way yeah. to flex on me, King. I failed nearly every class I ever took. He added that they suggest <laughs> either light allocation of PS5s for Japan or lean available inventory overall. Have to wait and see. Obviously, both consoles have had supply issues, which is not uncommon during a launch. Xbox boss Phil Spencer has publicly apologized for the shortage of Series X's. Why my script so gripping? Do you need a nap? I would I would love one, and so that they're working hard to meet demand. <laughs> we should do an episode where you're just asleep in your reading chair. <laughs> I would love to. Meanwhile, if you, yes you, have tried to get a PS5, you know that they've had plenty of supply issues too, so it makes sense that both consoles would be selling less in Japan. But interesting caveat, this could actually be part of an intentional move on Sony's part to shift its focus away from Japan. Uh-oh. Bloomberg reported that Yes, Sony has directed its attention, gaming-wise, more toward the US in recent years. The company moved its PlayStation business headquarters to California, moved the whole shebang. In 2016, the US is now Sony's largest single market, so. That happened after the PS4, despite being a bestseller almost everywhere, did disappointing business in Japan. Sony globally sold more than 113 million PS4s, but less than 10 million of those were in Japan. It's oh, probably because they were still wow. releasing every game for the PS3. Bloomberg also said that the U.S. accounts for 35% of Sony's game revenue compared to just 10% for Japan. That's why you move the headquarters. I didn't know this before I before I read the script this morning. I was unaware yeah. of this disparity. Well, you learned something. Yeah. In many ways, <laughs> Brian, you're the best teacher I've ever had. 
<laughs> Aw. I was gonna follow it up with a joke, but I really like and respect you. Next, we're gonna uh, learn how to drink hard liquor. Let's go. For its part, Sony denied that it's moving its focus away from Japan with the spokeswoman telling Bloomberg that our home market remains of utmost importance. But this could be part of a larger trend. Analyst Daniel Ahmad said, this is all just part of a long, slow decline in the traditional home console market in Japan in favor of mobile and hybrid devices. That makes sense. He added that the PS5 will likely be supply constrained in Japan for a while as other markets are prioritized. So yeah, it kind of backs up what Bloomberg said. Ahmad said that the Switch is still the market leader in Japan because of its hybrid capabilities, strong content offering and social features. Also portable gaming has always been huge in Japan and Switch yes. fills that role very well. Plus uh, it's currently the best place to play porn games if I understand correctly. Oh. I love that. And Nintendo's like, we're fine with that. Yeah. It's such a 180 from everything they've ever done well, before. Well, they're a family company. And how do you get a family? And daddy has needs. That's right. Yes. Grandpa marketing straight to grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> grandpa likey the switch. <laughs> <laughs> These girls are very forward. Yeah. <laughs> Not like my day. He doesn't really understand what it's called. Bring me my coming machine. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the porn tablet? Ahmad added that the PS5's first week sales will likely be higher in the UK, Germany, and France this time, whereas the PS4's first week was higher in Japan than those markets. We'll talk more about sales in just a second, but hey, first let's talk about something more important to video games, food. Eh, debatable. In these pandemic times, it's better to cook from home, and that's where our sponsor, HelloFresh, comes in. Hey everybody, let's talk about HelloFresh. Now what is HelloFresh, you might ask? Well, that is where you get fresh, pre-measured ingredients and mouthwatering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. With HelloFresh, it's America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh lets you skip those trips to the grocery store and makes home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. I literally cooked HelloFresh for my family last night. No joke. It came in a box. It has the bag. It's got all the ingredients. I made the pulled pork fiesta bowl. The whole family loved it. I felt like, I seriously felt like a hero because I like cooked something and I like kind of didn't tell them it was this easy. I made it kind of seem like I slaved over the stove all day. It didn't, it didn't take long. It's so easy. It offers convenient, no contact delivery to your doorstep. Yep, that's how it worked for me. Easy home cooking with the family. Great value, save 40% when you use HelloFresh versus shopping at the grocery store. And it delivers fresh, high quality pre-portioned ingredients so you can make meals that are delicious and nutritious. Over 90% of the ingredients sourced directly from growers to ensure peak flavor and ripeness. And it's flexible for your lifestyle. You can change your delivery days or your meal plan preferences. Yeah, I did family plan, uh, gluten allergy, and they were like, no problem, dude. We got you hooked up. You can skip a week whenever you need right on the app. So super easy. Go to HelloFresh.com slash InsideGaming90 and use code InsideGaming90. All one word, InsideGaming90 to get $90 off, including free shipping. Again, go to HelloFresh.com slash InsideGaming90 and use code InsideGaming90 to get $90 off, including free shipping. So yes. Thank you, HelloFresh. And seriously, that stuff was delicious. All right, back to next-gen console sales. While Sony has been pivoting away from Japan, Microsoft has been trying to make inroads into the Japanese market. Bloomberg reported that Microsoft is, quote, making a serious attempt to attract fans in Japan with its new consoles and network services. It's yeah. selling an Xbox Series X with a portable DVD player taped to the top, and it's like, yes. play it on the train. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it makes sense, considering that the Xbox has almost had no presence in Japan historically. And it's the third largest gaming market, so there's room to go if you're starting from zero. Nowhere to go but up. Meanwhile, the Xbox seems to be doing well in the UK, which is Xbox's second biggest market outside of the US. Both the Xbox Series X and S had good launches there, with Microsoft selling around 155,000 consoles on launch day. That topped the previous record of 150,000, which Xbox One did its first two days on sale in 2013. Impressive for a fail son of a console at the time. Oh, yeah. oh. not bad, but that is a far cry from what the PS4 did in the last generation.
edition, the PS4 had the biggest launch in UK history, managing around 250,000 over its first 48 Damn. hours. Then again, in fairness to the Xbox Series X, maybe if there hadn't been supply issues, uh, they might have sold even more. Uh, one more note about next-gen games. You might have noticed that some of them, like the Spider-Man Miles Morales Ultimate Edition and the Demon Souls remakes, are priced at $70. The future's here. We've also seen third-party studios jack up the price on some next-gen titles like NBA 2K21 and Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, and Sony Interactive Entertainment CEO Jim Ryan defended the price hike, saying that he considers it a fair price. Oh. Of course, yeah. Who he better than a rich guy? He know. told the Telegraph that if you measure the hours of entertainment provided by a video game... Oh, I hate this argument. It sucks, man. It's, yeah. uh, it f***ing sucks. Such as Demon's Souls compared to any other form of entertainment, I think that's a very straightforward comparison to draw. Well, then you could charge $300 for Fortnite. Like, <laughs> right. <laughs> right. It doesn't track really. like that. Or you could charge like $8,000 yeah. for a basketball. Oh, got him. They should do that, honestly. That would be a huge boon to our, our economy, Patrick. You so. could be right. Meanwhile, there has been some reporting that Sony considered pricing PS5 games even higher than $70, but Ryan really got his back up over that, uh, calling it categorically false, so you know that it's categorically wow. true. Ryan's reported as saying, no. He also wouldn't say if we could expect $70 games from Sony subsidiaries like Naughty Dog saying, I'm not making any predictions about anything that might or might not happen in the future. Good day to you, sir. <laughs> They're definitely hoping that it, this just becomes the norm before anyone raises too much of a stink about it. Yep. Yeah, so the translation there is, we probably will. I'm just not going to admit it right now because you'll get mad at me and I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I yes. would hate it if you were cross with me. But yeah, there you go. Games, they're more expensive now. There's nothing to play them on. Fine. The world is ending. Yeah. We've got all these new consoles out, but we're going to talk about the Switch. Let's give it up for the Switch. Yeah! It's me, Friday. Connor Harmonize. Hi! Yeah! So we got the PS5 and the Series X releasing this week. It's easy to forget about the humble Switch. After mm -hmm. all, it doesn't have